Hello my friends and welcome to Snaptudes. Today we'll learn how to create an isometric illustration without an isometric grid. So let's start with the tutorial. Okay, so I have this uh, Game Boy reference image with me uh, that I picked from Google. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll uh, select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we'll create the top or the front view first. Okay, cool. Uh, so while selecting this rectangle I'll remove the stroke and then press X on the keyboard to select the uh, fill color yeah so I'll make it as gray uh, I'll slightly lighten it a bit cool so what I'm gonna do is I'll select the direct selection tool and select this point you can drag or uh, click on this point and what I'm gonna do is I'll drag this thing and move it like this yeah and I'm gonna slightly like make it thinner yeah like this now I'll create the screen yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'll sell again select the rectangular tool and I'll just create a rectangle yeah I'll double click on this and slightly darken it up uh, say like this yeah and I'll select both of these and then select the uh, rectangle in the background and then center line it yeah again I'll do the same thing I'll select this from the right corner and then slightly make a curve yeah now what I'm gonna do is I'll select the rectangle tool again and then create in the screen yeah like this then again like I'll center line everything yeah and again I'll like slightly darken the color and maybe change it a bit yeah like this now what I'm gonna do is I'll create the buttons yeah like this so I'll create a I'll take a rectangle tool again right and maybe just to make it nicer maybe change this to or or orange and then like what I'll do is I'll create a copy by pressing ctrl C and then ctrl F it will create a copy and then I'll rotate it yeah like this yeah so we can again like make it slightly thinner and make it bit over here uh, I'll slightly make it thinner and then press control control C control V and then yeah I'll group those and then what I'll do is I'll select this ellipse tool from over here and then create a circle while holding shift yeah and I'll choose the same color yeah and drag it over here right and then again what I'll do is I'll select the rounded rectangle tool and then I'll create two rectangles small rectangles over here yeah and then I'll create a copy of this what you can do is you can press alt and then shift and then drag it to the right it will create a copy of the rectangle yeah then I'll select it press ctrl G to group them and then select this and center line this yeah like this okay cool so all we have to do is now create the okay let me group this together and then center line with this one and we'll create these smaller circles yeah so what we can do is we'll select the ellipse tool and create a circle like this yeah and what we can do is do the same thing press alt and shift then drag them to the right and then press ctrl d to repeat and yeah we'll make slightly more circles yeah uh, this is fine and i'll again do the same thing press alt and shift then drag them to the to the bottom yeah like this and this then press ctrl d to create a copy yeah and then press ctrl d again right what i'm gonna do is i'll remove the top uh the corner circles right 
yeah like this and i'll select everything press ctrl g to group them and then i'll rotate it by them by 45 degrees uh, to do so what you can do is uh, move your mouse to the right bottom and then press shift and uh, rotate like move it upwards so it, it will automatically snap to 45 degrees yeah like this so i'll place it over here let me check it again so it's not entirely 45 degrees so what you can do is again like hold it from the bottom and then drag it like this and then again like i'll press alt and shift so that it it scale inwards yeah like this yeah okay well, one more thing we can do is like we can select these other three corners uh, and then make it slightly rounded yeah like this so what we can do is i'll move it to the side now what we can do is we'll select everything and press ctrl g on the keyboard yeah let me center line everything yeah we'll select this and then again like by holding shift or rotate it by 45 degrees go to effect and then distort and transform and then transform yeah and what we need to do over here is make sure this is 100% and in vertical we will type in 57.74 yeah and then press ok so it will create an isometric like top view right so I'll create a copy of this like move it to the side select this and go to object and then expand appearance yeah right I'll ungroup this like by selecting this click right click and then ungroup yeah again by holding alt shift I'll drag this this thing to the bottom yeah and what I'll do is I'll right click on the new rectangle and go to arrange then send to back yeah and then maybe change the color of it a bit uh, yeah like this go to the pen tool and click here here yeah and here and here yeah so we'll create this rectangle just to cover up the white areas and then again select both arrange send to pack yeah and then over here as well uh, select the pen tool click over here then over here then over here yeah just to fill up the gaps and then go to arrange and then send to pack yeah I'll group these three yeah make sure they are sent to back and then maybe darken the color a bit more yeah like this so uh, this is how you can do it and uh, to add in more details what we can do is we can again do the same thing over here like uh, select this and while holding alt and shift move them to the bottom yeah make sure the one at the bottom is slightly darker yeah so I'll bring this to the front yeah and then like uh, fill in the these spaces yeah like this cool. and then I'll make sure the lighter orange is at the top the same thing can be done here while pressing alt and then I'll like slightly darken it a bit make sure the lighter circle is at the top uh, let me change the color again yeah like this uh, cool and select everything group everything and then make it center line so yeah that's it so that's how easy it was like uh, you don't need an isometric grid every time to create an isometric illustration so see you in the next tutorial bye bye